Today guys, I wanted to talk about pet stores in Grand RP. What happened with them? Why are there no pets? And a little way around this. So I hope you're going to enjoy the video. And if you haven't already joined the city before and want to, be sure to click the link down below in the description, click on start playing, select which server you want to play on, register an account, and download the launcher. And you should be good to go from there. Anywho, let's head on over to a pet store. Now, as you guys know, a little while ago, there was an update released introducing a brand new pet system into the game. I thought it looked pretty dope. It showed in the trailer, pet stores were gonna be added that would be put on the auction and we'd be able to go into those stores and purchase pets. Now, in the trailer itself, they showed the pets being sold for about $25,000. Of course, that was also in a test server, so the prices would have changed if that came into the actual servers. But if you go to a pet store now, all you could buy is two things. The first thing is going to be pet food, which just replenishes your pet's health. The next thing is dog food, which restores energy to the dog. Now, both of these items are only $1,000, which kind of sucks, obviously. So for the people that own the business, they're not making that much money because they were super hyped when they first purchased the business, and those businesses went for a pretty decent amount of money as well. Like, I'm talking tens of millions of dollars. I can't remember. I think one of them actually went for like 100 mil. It was a really long time ago, but either way, they bought those businesses went to go and sell some pets and guess what they couldn't because there were no pets it was literally just dog food and that's it i remember when the update came out a lot of people went and bought a bunch of the dog food and then tried to resell it for some reason now i'm not sure if you guys remember this before but if you went to any 24 7 you were able to buy pet food there so they pretty much just introduced a pet store that sells pet food that's it they took one item from a 24 7 and popped it into a pet store. And then they sold them for millions and millions of dollars. I would be pretty disappointed if I saw a trailer that said you could sell pets at this pet store if you buy it off the auction. Spend a ton of money buying it, realizing after you can't actually sell pets, and then instantly you pretty much just threw millions of dollars down the drain. Now for the people that don't already know, the reason why pets aren't sold is because they started bugging out. In the test server, they were working perfectly fine. And then when they tried to release it in the main server, it bugged out and wasn't working. I'm not sure how hard they tried to fix it, but afterwards they said, we're just gonna scrap the idea of selling pets at the stores. And it's been a long time since the pet stores came out and they still haven't added it back. So I don't think it's ever going to come back. But when that happened, the price of all other pets skyrocketed. Now, I don't believe they're the same price now because people just don't really care about it anymore. The whole pet system update, like I said, was kind of cool, but what ruined it was the fact that you couldn't buy pets from the stores. So even rats were going for like $6 million back then, and other animals were going for over $12 million. So a lot of people couldn't even take part in this new update. And of course, the one I'm talking about is where you could go and click M, go to My Pets, and then you could view which pets you have, and then you could upgrade them, and then get some cool stuff. Become a bunker guard, can mine resources, can cure you, increase damage, block damage, all kinds of cool stuff. And then of course, those pets would then sell for a lot more money. And then you could use Grand Coins to buy delicious pet food, I guess, which would extend their lives. Either way, the update was kind of a flop, just because of that one incident. And like I said, I don't believe it will ever be fixed because if it was going to, it probably would have by now. So let's say they're not going to fix that, but they still want to make the pet system active and make it work. Well, there is a very simple fix to this, at least from what I'm thinking. Number one, they could obviously just add the freaking pets to the pet stores. But number two, do you know when you go animal hunting, you go and find a coyote or a deer or something like that out in the wild and you kill it and get some animal skin. But what if you were able to buy a cage from the pet stores? Maybe this cage would cost $100,000 or something like that. You could then take that cage, go hunting for animals, but don't actually kill them. You take the cage and you try to capture it. And let's say there's a 50% chance you'll end up capturing the animal, kind of like Pokemon in a way. If you capture it, then boom, it is now your pet. And then just like that, it would be the exact same as any other pet that you could buy off the auction or any other pet that's in the city. And then there you go. You got a pet, simple as that. Now the animals that you can currently hunt aren't obviously available to be pets, but they could add more animals that are just out in the wild, like roosters walking around, even dogs. You see that happening in GTA story mode all the time. So if they did something like that, it would pretty much fix the issue of having to buy pets, 
you could just go and try to find them in the wild and see if you can capture them. And who knows, you might actually get lucky and get one. And then you could go along with the pet system, mess around with it a little bit and have some fun. And I think that would be pretty great. Once again, the owners of these pet stores would also be able to make a little bit of money as well, because then more people would have pets, more people would buy some food and people who want the pets would have to go to these pet stores to buy a cage for the pet itself. So the businesses would then be a lot more profitable. And I know I've said many times before, business owners obviously make tons of money, but imagine you spending $80 million on a business thinking you'll be able to sell pets and make an absolute fortune, then you buy it, you can't sell pets, and then people think the business is maybe worth like 40 million or something like that, maybe even less, because it pretty much makes no money. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of it down below. Would you like to see a new and improved version of the pet system, either where you can buy pets from the stores, like they said, or allow us to go search for them out in the wild, bring a cage that we purchased from a pet store, and then see if we can go and capture our own pets. I think that would be kind of fun, because I know a lot of people don't want to kill the animals, and honestly, if I had the choice between killing a deer and capturing a deer that I could walk around with, I'm probably going to try to capture it and make it my pet and name it John Deere. But either way, that is pretty much going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully something like this does happen in the future. If it does, it would be pretty awesome. I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy it, especially people who don't have pets that want them and people who own pet stores that are probably a little bit less rich than they were before. End of the day, I think it would be pretty dope. So let me know what you guys think. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.